kiting is a question I get asked a lot. How do you kite? What do you do to kite? And in which situation do you press what button? And that's what I will tell you guys in show today and also give you a reason, an explanation as to why it's good and also why I do what I do, which is basically why it's good and why I think it's good. And the thing I'm going to talk about today are the buttons I press and which buttons you press. And it's going to cover the right click button, which is the one you have to click on the champion to attack them. But it's also the same button that you press to move around. And the second one, which will be the one where you click on the ground to attack with either the left click button or a click or whatever else you may use. And one of the things I'm showing now is obviously the downside to having to click the right click button is that you might actually miss. And that's why I will actually make this video here now to cover why in particular you should maybe use the right click button in a certain situation and why you should maybe use the left click one another because you might actually miss and then step on the ground as you saw in the last bit here. But before we begin, I hope you guys have a good morning, evening, night, whichever one fits. <laughs> Shit like that. You know the drill. But yeah, let's get started. So the right click button has the most use when you're cutting upwards because when you move your camera, it will also move with. So say as an example, if you shove the camera with your mouse, the motion will be the same as where you're chasing the target. So when you're kiting forward, when you're chasing someone, that's when you should use your right click button or try to use your right click button the most. Because as you can see, when you're doing it backwards, you can have a very awkward time sometimes moving your camera, but at the same time also motioning your mouse up again. However, with the second reason being when you're chasing someone and right clicking them, the reason is you don't have any vision and you're chasing them. So you don't know what's going to be up ahead. So if you right click then, you are guaranteed at least they will hit the target. But if you've left clicked then as an example, and minions or champions come towards you, you might accidentally hit them. So as you can see, there's two reasons for this. It's easier and also you're more likely to hit them. Because all the movements are going in line with your motion, right? So it's all about motion here and rhythm. Because as you can see, even though I'm moving my mouse forward, I only have to retract my mouse and then attack him again because my next motion will still be forward. So I have to move my mouse all the way backwards again. To then click backwards because everything is forward. So there's no need to click back. Which is why even if I move my camera and have to move my mouse backwards, my next motion will still be forward. Making it easier. And here again we can see the difficulty when we're trying to do it backwards. So to recap kiting forward. Right click on the target, move your mouse with, it's going to be easier to chase them and also hit it, which is why people most likely will right click when they're going forward. It's also they don't know what's going to be ahead, which makes it more likely that they will actually hit the right target. And also it's not very difficult to keep your mouse on the target when they're running away from you. Whereas if they're running towards you, it's going to be more difficult because you have to kite backwards then. So then, what do you do when you kite backwards? You can either use your A click button, I'm not sure what button you're going to have bound, but I most likely use left click, or I do the A left click. However, it doesn't really matter whichever you have bound, but it's going to be the attack that doesn't require you to directly hit or click on the target itself. It's, it only has to be next to them, and that's the important factor here. So there's two reasons here that I can do it. We've already mentioned one of them, why it's good, because it's more difficult to do it backwards, which is why you can should or could left click then or a click whichever you prefer but the second one being is when you kite backwards people will usually get funneled in a cone towards you so even if you a click or left click or whichever button you prefer you're still very likely to hit them but also you're not gonna have the mistake of actually clicking on them and walking towards them which is something you don't want to happen when you're running away right because you don't you want to run away from them, you don't want to run into them right so yeah that's the reason why, and the reason why I can do it. Because, as I said, when you run away, everyone will be forced in a cone towards you. They will ev eventually meet a you, right? Center. So as you can see, the cone, regardless of where they're coming from, eventually they'll all meet a you. So, by default, they will all come and funnel in a cone towards you. Which is the other reason why you can, because you are not likely to get hit someone while you're doing it. But also, again, there won't be any minions behind you, they're only going to be in front of you, and eventually you're just going to run away from the minions or whatever else might be there, so there's not going to be many downsides in that regard either. And it's also going to be very unlikely that you will actually accidentally hit the target zone while you're doing this backwards, as opposed to forward. So yeah, right click forward, 
left click a click backwards that is all i hope you guys can have a good morning evening night wish everyone fit shit like that and yeah take care space gliders peace and don't forget to smash the sub button thank you peace and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section i will gladly answer any you have <laughs>